The chili pepper, also chili, chili pepper, chili pepper, or chili from Nahuatl chili Nahuatl pronunciation, t, i, li, listen, is the fruit of plants from the genus Capsicum, members of the nightshade family, Solanaceae. Chili peppers are widely used in many cuisines to add spiciness to dishes. The substances that give chili peppers their intensity when ingested or applied topically are capsaicin and related compounds known as capsaicinoids. Chili peppers originated in Mexico. After the Colombian exchange, many cultivars of chili pepper spread across the world, used for both food and traditional medicine. Worldwide in 2014, 32.3 million tons of green chili peppers and 3.8 million tons of dried chili peppers were produced. China is the world's largest producer of green chilies, providing half of the global total. History Chili peppers have been a part of the human diet in the Americas since at least 7500 BCE. The most recent research shows that chili peppers were domesticated more than 6,000 years ago in Mexico, in the region that extends across southern Puebla and northern Oaxaca to southeastern Veracruz, and were one of the first self-pollinating crops cultivated in Mexico, Central America, and parts of South America. Peru is considered the country with the highest cultivated capsicum diversity because it is a center of diversification where varieties of all five domesticates were introduced, grown, and consumed in pre-Columbian times. Bolivia is considered to be the country where the largest diversity of wild capsicum peppers is consumed. Bolivian consumers distinguish two basic forms, ulipicas, species with small round fruits including C. eximium, C. cardenasi, C. eshvai, and C. caballero elandrosis, and arevivus with small elongated fruits including C. bacatum var, bacatum and C. chacons varieties. Christopher Columbus was one of the first Europeans to encounter them in the Caribbean and called them peppers, because they, like black pepper of the genus Piper known in Europe, have a spicy, hot taste unlike other foodstuffs. Upon their introduction into Europe, chilies were grown as botanical curiosities in the gardens of Spanish and Portuguese monasteries. Christian monks experimented with the culinary potential of chili and discovered that their pungency offered a substitute for black peppercorns. Chilies were cultivated around the globe after indigenous people shared them with travelers. Diego Álvarez Chanca, a physician on Columbus's second voyage to the West Indies in 1493, brought the first chili peppers to Spain and first wrote about their medicinal effects in 1494. The spread of chili peppers to Asia was most likely a natural consequence of its introduction to Portuguese traders Lisbon was a common port of call for Spanish ships sailing to and from the Americas, who, aware of its trade value, would have likely promoted its commerce in the Asian spice trade routes then dominated by Portuguese and Arab traders. It was introduced in India by the Portuguese towards the end of 15th century. Today, chilies are an integral part of Indian and Southeast Asian cuisines. The chili pepper features heavily in the cuisine of the Goan region of India, which was the site of a Portuguese colony, e.g., Vindaloo, an Indian interpretation of a Portuguese dish. Chili peppers journeyed from India, through Central Asia and Turkey, to Hungary, where they became the national spice in the form of paprika. An alternate, although not so plausible account, no obvious correlation between its dissemination in Asia and Spanish presence or trade routes, defended mostly by Spanish historians, was that from Mexico, at the time a Spanish colony, chili peppers spread into their other colony the Philippines and from there to India, China, Indonesia. To Japan, it was brought by the Portuguese missionaries in 1542, and then later, it was brought to Korea. In 1995, archaeobotanist Hakan Helmquist published an article in Svensk Botanisk Tidskrift claiming there was evidence for the presence of chili peppers in Europe in pre Columbian times. According to Helmquist, archaeologists at a dig in St. Bochelf in Lund found a capsicum frutescens in a layer from the 13th century. Helmquist thought it came from Asia. Helmquist also said that capsicum was described by the Greek Theophrastus 370-286 BCE, in his Historia Plantarum, and in other sources. Around the 1st century CE, the Roman poet Martial mentioned piper crudum, raw pepper, in Liber 11, 18, allegedly describing them as long and containing seeds, a description which seems to fit chili peppers, but could also fit the long pepper, which was well known to ancient Romans. 
Contrary to the Colombian exchange, evidence of the use of chili peppers in Southeast Asia can be found in stone inscriptions from the Bagan period of the 13th century Myanmar. The Shui Kun Cha Pagoda stone inscriptions 1223 CE of King Nadungmia 1234-1254 CE included five baskets of chilies in the list of his donations to the pagoda and a slightly later stone inscription 1248 CE of Princess A Sa Kayam, alternative transliteration Asagyan, included chilies alongside rice, betel nut, and salt in the cost of her merit makings. Production in 2014, world production of fresh green chili peppers was 33.2 million tons, led by China with 48% of the global total. Global production of dried chili peppers was about nine times less than for fresh production, led by India with 32% of the world total. Species and cultivars The five domesticated species of chili peppers are as follows. Capsicum annuum, which includes many common varieties such as bell peppers, wax, cayenne, jalapenos, chiltepin, and all forms of New Mexico chili. Capsicum frutescens, which includes malagueta, Tabasco and Thai peppers, piri piri, and Malawian kambutsi. Capsicum chinens, which includes the hottest peppers such as the naga, habanero, the teal and scotch bonnet. Capsicum pubescens, which includes the South American ricotto peppers. Capsicum bacatum, which includes the South American agi peppers. Though there are only a few commonly used species, there are many cultivars and methods of preparing chili peppers that have different names for culinary use. Green and red bell peppers, for example, are the same cultivar of C. annuum, immature peppers being green. In the same species are the jalapeño, the poblano, which when dried is referred to as ancho, New Mexico, serrano, and other cultivars. Peppers are commonly broken down into three groupings, bell peppers, sweet peppers, and hot peppers. Most popular pepper varieties are seen as falling into one of these categories or as a cross between them. Intensity the substances that give chili peppers their pungency, spicy heat, when ingested or applied topically are capsaicin 8 methyl nbanillyl 6 nonenamide and several related chemicals, collectively called capsaicinoids. The quantity of capsaicin varies by variety, and on growing conditions. Water-stressed peppers usually produce stronger pods. When a habanero plant is stressed, for example low water, the concentration of capsaicin increases in some parts of the fruit. When peppers are consumed by mammals such as humans, capsaicin binds with pain receptors in the mouth and throat, potentially evoking pain via spinal relays to the brainstem and thalamus where heat and discomfort are perceived. The intensity of the heat of chili peppers is commonly reported in Scoville heat units shoe. Historically, it was a measure of the dilution of an amount of chili extract added to sugar syrup before its heat becomes undetectable to a panel of tasters. The more it has to be diluted to be undetectable, the more powerful the variety, and therefore the higher the rating. The modern method is a quantitative analysis of shoe using high-performance liquid chromatography HPLC, to directly measure the capsaicinoid content of a chili pepper variety. Pure capsaicin is a hydrophobic, colorless, odorless, and crystalline to waxy solid at room temperature, and measures 16 million shu. Capsaicin is produced by the plant as a defense against mammalian predators and microbes, in particular a fusarium fungus carried by hemipteran insects that attack certain species of chili peppers, according to one study. Peppers increased the quantity of capsaicin in proportion to the damage caused by fungal predation on the plant seeds. Common peppers A wide range of intensity is found in commonly used peppers. Notable hot chili peppers Some of the world's hottest chili peppers are Uses Culinary uses Chili pepper pods, which are berries, are used fresh or dried. Chilies are dried to preserve them for long periods of time, which may also be done by pickling. 
Dried chilies are often ground into powders, although many Mexican dishes including variations on chilies rellenos use the entire chili. Dried whole chilies may be reconstituted before grinding to a paste. The chipotle is the smoked, dried, ripe jalapeno. Many fresh chilies such as poblano have a tough outer skin that does not break down on cooking. Chilies are sometimes used whole or in large slices, by roasting, or other means of blistering or charring the skin, so as not to entirely cook the flesh beneath. When cooled, the skins will usually slip off easily. The leaves of every species of capsicum are edible. Though almost all other solanaceous crops have toxins in their leaves, chili peppers do not. The leaves, which are mildly bitter and nowhere near as hot as the fruit, are cooked as greens in Filipino cuisine, where they are called dehan ng sili, literally, chili leaves. They are used in the chicken soup tanola. In Korean cuisine, the leaves may be used in kimchi. In Japanese cuisine, the leaves are cooked as greens, and also cooked in sukudani style for preservation. Chili is a staple fruit in Bhutan. Bhutanese call this crop emma, in zonka, or solo, in sharchop. The emma datsi recipe is entirely made of chili mixed with local cheese. In India, most households always keep a stock of fresh hot green chilies at hand, and use them to flavor most curries and dry dishes. It is typically lightly fried with oil in the initial stages of preparation of the dish. Some states in India, such as Rajasthan, make entire dishes only by using spices and chilies. Chilies are present in many cuisines. Some notable dishes other than the ones mentioned elsewhere in this article include Arrabbiata sauce from Italy is a tomato-based sauce for pasta always including dried hot chilies. Putanesca sauce is tomato based with olives, capers, anchovy and, sometimes, chilies. Paprikish from Hungary uses significant amounts of mild, ground, dried chilies, known as paprika, in a braised chicken dish. Chilies en nogada from the Puebla region of Mexico uses fresh mild chilies stuffed with meat and covered with a creamy nut-thickened sauce. Curry dishes usually contain fresh or dried chilies. Kung Pao Chicken, Mandarin Chinese, Gong Bao Ji Ding, Gong Bao Ji Ding, from the Sichuan region of China uses small hot dried chilies briefly fried in oil to add spice to the oil then used for frying. Mole Poblano from the city of Puebla in Mexico uses several varieties of dried chilies, nuts, spices, and fruits to produce a thick dark sauce for poultry or other meats. Nam frik are traditional Thai chili pastes and sauces, prepared with chopped fresh or dry chilies, and additional ingredients such as fish sauce, lime juice, and herbs, but also fruit, meat or seafood. Duha, a more typical example of Italian spicy specialty, from the region of Calabria, is a soft pork sausage made hot by the addition of the locally grown variety of jalapeno chili. Paprikars Szczekinski is a Polish fish paste with rice, onion, tomato concentrate, vegetable oil, chili pepper powder and other spices. Sambal Tarasi or Sambal Belikan is a traditional Indonesian and Malay hot condiment made by frying a mixture of mainly pounded dried chili s with garlic, shallots, and fermented shrimp paste. It is customarily served with rice dishes and is especially popular when mixed with crunchy pan-roasted ikan teri or ikan bilis sun-dried anchovies, when it is known as sambal teri or sambal ikan bilis. Various sambal variants existed in Indonesian archipelago, among others are sambal bajak, sambal olek, sambal peat prepared with green stinky beans, and sambal pensit prepared with unripe green mango. Som tam, a green papaya salad from Thai and Lao cuisine, traditionally has, as a key ingredient, a fistful of chopped fresh hot Thai chili, pounded in a mortar. Fresh or dried chilies are often used to make hot sauce, a liquid condiment, usually bottled when commercially available, that adds spice to other dishes. Hot sauces are found in many cuisines including harissa from North Africa, chili oil from China, known as reu in Japan, and sriracha from Thailand. Dried chilies are also used to infuse cooking oil. Ornamental plants The contrast in color and appearance makes chili plants interesting to some as a purely decorative garden plant. 
black pearl pepper, small cherry-shaped fruits and dark brown to black leaves. Black Hungarian pepper, green foliage, highlighted by purple veins and purple flowers, jalapeno-shaped fruits. Bishop's crown pepper, Christmas bell pepper, named for its distinct three-sided shape resembling a red bishop's crown or a red Christmas bell. Psychology Psychologist Paul Rosen suggests that eating chilies is an example of a constrained risk, like riding a roller coaster, in which extreme sensations like pain and fear can be enjoyed because individuals know that these sensations are not actually harmful. This method lets people experience extreme feelings without any risk of bodily harm. Medicinal Capsaicin, the chemical in chili peppers that makes them hot, is used as an analgesic in topical ointments, nasal sprays, and dermal patches to relieve pain. Chemical irritants Capsaicin extracted from chilies is used in manufacturing pepper spray and tear gas as chemical irritants, forms of less lethal weapons for control of unruly individuals or crowds. Such products have considerable potential for misuse, and may cause injury or death. Crop defense Conflicts between farmers and elephants have long been widespread in African and Asian countries, where elephants nightly destroy crops, raid grain houses, and sometimes kill people. Farmers have found the use of chilies effective in crop defense against elephants. Elephants do not like capsaicin, the chemical in chilies that makes them hot. Because the elephants have a large and sensitive olfactory and nasal system, the smell of the chili causes them discomfort and deters them from feeding on the crops. By planting a few rows of the pungent fruit around valuable crops, farmers create a buffer zone through which the elephants are reluctant to pass. Chili dung bombs are also used for this purpose. They are bricks made of mixing dung and chili, and are burned, creating a noxious smoke that keeps hungry elephants out of farmers' fields. This can lessen dangerous physical confrontation between people and elephants. Food defense Birds do not have the same sensitivity to capsaicin, because it targets a specific pain receptor in mammals. Chili peppers are eaten by birds living in the chili pepper's natural range, possibly contributing to seed dispersal and evolution of the protective capsaicin in chili peppers. Nutritional value while red chilies contain large amounts of vitamin C table, other species contain significant amounts of provitamin A beta carotene. In addition, peppers are a rich source of vitamin B6 C table. Spelling and usage The three primary spellings are chili, chili and chili, all of which are recognized by dictionaries. Chile is widely used in historically Anglophone regions of the United States and Canada. However, it is also commonly used as a short name for chili con carne, literally, chili with meat. Most versions are seasoned with chili powder, which can refer to pure dried, ground chili peppers, or to a mixture containing other spices. Chile is the most common Spanish spelling in Mexico and several other Latin American countries, as well as some parts of the United States and Canada, which refers specifically to this plant and its fruit. In the southwest United States, particularly New Mexico, chili also denotes a thick, spicy, unvinegared sauce made from this fruit, available in red and green varieties, and served over the local food, while chili denotes the meat dish. The plural is chili or chilies. Chili was the original romanization of the Nahuatl language word for the fruit chili, and is the preferred British spelling according to the Oxford English Dictionary, although it also lists chili and chili as variants. Chili, and its plural chilies, is the most common spelling in Australia, India, Malaysia, New Zealand, Pakistan, Singapore and South Africa. The name of the plant is almost certainly unrelated to that of Chile, the country, which has an uncertain etymology perhaps relating to local place names. Chile, Colombia, Ecuador, Panama, Peru, Dominican Republic and Puerto Rico are some of the Spanish-speaking countries where chilies are known as agi, a word of Taino origin. Though pepper originally referred to the genus piper, not capsicum, the latter usage is included in English dictionaries, including the Oxford English Dictionary, Sense 2B of Pepper, and Merriam-Webster. 
The word pepper is also commonly used in the botanical and culinary fields in the names of different types of chili plants and their fruits. Gallery See also References External links Wild Chili, EU All About Wild Chilies, Capsicums, Peppers Plant Cultures, Chili Pepper Botany, History and Uses The Chili Pepper Institute of New Mexico State University Capsicums, Innovative Uses of an Ancient Crop Chile, La Especia del Nuevo Mundo, article from German Octavio López Riquelme about biology, nutrition, culture and medical topics. In Spanish, The Hot Pepper List List of Chili Pepper Varieties Ordered by Heat Rating in Scoville Heat Units Shoe.